So I just got a small uh, laser power meter online. I did a quick video on this. There's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and that is compare the output of these handheld lasers. They typically come with uh, one eighteen six fifty, but the diameter and length is pretty darn close with these sixteen three forties. So I would like to try to double the voltage and just see what happens. This here is a $10 laser from eBay, um, 405, so it shows up a little purpley. Whoops. And I just want to see what this will do kind of out of the box as designed, and then hopefully we don't burn it up. And go from there, whoops. I rechecked the listing and there was no <clears throat> claim toward power, but I think this is supposed to be uh, obviously a little bit more powerful than the pen version or the key version. Hmm, better than I thought. So it's up to about 63, 64. I think it's gonna stop at 64. All right. Okay, so it went to 64. Now we're putting in these 16, 340s. Screw them in. Let's see if I can line this up a little bit better this time. Uh, I think that'll work. You can immediately see we're going to exceed the previous rating. Oh, it is going a little higher. Oh. oh, there you have it. So from it's at 64 to about 93. All right, now we'll try some other lasers. All right, so now we're going to try green. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with uh, showing you all these results here because I already know the punchline. The first laser that I was checking after the um, 405 nanometer was this uh, half watt green laser, um, probably one of the more expensive lasers that I bought. And the punchline here is that it, uh, you know, same power output, no matter what the battery configuration is, <coughs> which thinking back on it kind of makes sense because this, again, this was like one of the better lasers. So it was kind of put together in a modular fashion. So it was a bit easier to take apart. And when I did take this one apart previously, it did have a small, like one of those micro pots on there, um, which was adjustable for the power. Um, and at the time I kind of thought that would be, you know, adjustable relative to the input voltage. Um, however, that uh, appears not. So let me fast forward through this one. Next up is a one plus watt uh, blue laser. Um, again, I was unfamiliar with, so the punchline here real quick is just the single 18650 didn't even uh, power the light enough. Um, you could see it visibly kind of not really very well it looks like you can see in the video but it didn't uh, didn't generate anything on the reading so i think that this had a uh, minimum uh, voltage and so as you'll see here when i throw in the um two 16 340s it gets like a watt and a half a reading so as expected it's going to come down to the individual laser uh, the one where it did work, uh, that cheap uh, purple one, been playing with that all weekend. You know, since it didn't, uh, since the circuit didn't burn up immediately, the next concern is probably heat. So I've just been trying not to run it as long, but it seems to be, uh, you know, seems to be performing okay. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is try some of those 10440 batteries in place of uh, AAAs on those pen lasers. So I'm going to put a video together on that uh, pretty soon. Take care. Thanks.